Of course I was going to turn this on again. Welcome back to section five. I'm doing a little cheat since the rain is on the way and this is my first hike back. Um, I'm taking the chairlift and I've had a, a somewhat unsuccessful conversation with the chairlift operator uh, which got me into this position of having to <laughs> wear uh, my backpack. But there's uh, check this gag out on uh, the chair coming up at us. That's pretty funny. How did they seatbelt him in? Yeah, he's tied in. Um, so, check out this view. This is definitely a great cheat at the end of a long day or if you're combining these two sections. Oh, it just feels so nice to sit down and relax your way back. It's another mile at least from the top of the chairlift. The time said, well, it actually be more than a mile because the time said 50 minutes. So 50 minutes downhill, that's, that's quite a bit. I have not turned off my watch yet. I'll do that at the bottom. So the straight line will appear on my map. But look at this. So the, the Valenze, the, God, this, this Lake Valen. You know, it's just coming into view and I know I'm really talking it up this trip, but I love it. And uh, if you look across the shore, you can see the cliff basically straight up and then there's a flat area where there's a village. And that goes all the way around. And uh, if you can do, barely see, uh, you know, it's misty with the clouds, but uh, the, there's another valley to the left here. And that's a ski resort, um, Follen, Follenzeg or something like that, Follen, I forget what it is, but I've got video because I skied there. The only time I've skied in Switzerland, I skied over there. So I've got video and you, you take, God, I forget what you did. Uh, you took something from the train, from the, the water level up to the secondary level. And then, um, and then you went up uh, to, the, to the higher altitudes. Oh, it was so beautiful. And then you just are looking straight at these Teeth Mountain. And they are, they're my favorite. Again, back in this valley to the right at the end of the Valenze. And then back. That's to Glarus. If you go right around the mountain here that you can't see, it gets you to the top of Lake Zurich, which then bends around and goes north. Turns out the chairlift ends exactly at the bottom of the fifth section of Route 3, which is
is also where I started the uh, Steindorf bus stop. That's where I started today. Ooh. This is pretty easy now. So it's a bus down to. I forget what the main town is where the train goes through, but. From there, I can catch a train straight to Zurich. So the train lines are getting easier for the time being. So imagine for this lake, we have mountains over here that, again, the Teeth Mountains that I love so much that are just sheer. They're just sheer mountains, which the one in front of me is not, even though it's got this cliff uh, right at the coast. So I'm, I'm bringing this up because the lake, you know, those mountains still go down. your phone and we're telling me about the new phone. So that is the marker time and space when this video comes out. From another time and space marker, I might as well reveal that I will have coming off some weeks of clips from Ticino, which is the Italian side of Switzerland. Uh, we're heading down to Lucarno. Normally we go to Lugano. I've got a video of Lugano and surrounding areas of Lugano. And Lucarno is at uh, the top of the third of those finger lakes, Lake Como being the first, solely in Italy, and then Lake Lugano, which is half and half, Italy and Switzerland. And then uh, Lucarno is on, I believe it's Lake, it starts with M, Maga something or other. Again, names are not my best suit. But um, there are some really uh, amazing hikes that are going to be down there. Uh, another national trail uh, cuts through Lugano if I want to take the train over to Lugano. But first I want to exhaust the uh, secondary trails that are by Lucarno, which includes a hike to a dam that is famous for its James Bond movie cameo. James Bond 
jumps well I guess it's a like supposed to be a Russian secret Russian military arms plant and uh, James Bond bungee jumps off the front of the dam and breaks into the uh, secret arms but I'll be hiking up to that dam that is for certain so we got some more videos in the future Thank you very much. This will be the last of the section five. Section six starts right at the church recently uh, in Amden. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Tune back tomorrow for another set of videos, another location in Switzerland. Join me as we continue our journey through the Swiss culture.